Shout out to Son of Eaton for sending me the story. Just know that whenever I do a video about the Baltimore Police Department, it is never going to be a good story. Like, never. And this one is no different. So, it has come out and it has come to people's attention, and just in mine's included, that the Baltimore cops in the Baltimore Police Department, or maybe the BCPD, which is the Baltimore County Police Department, were carrying around toy guns and planting them on people that they shot just so they could have a case or a reason to put down on paper and document that's why they shot them, that the person had a gun on them and that they quote unquote fear for their life. So these people that they shot and probably killed or seriously injured did not have a weapon on them, but in order to make the case go smooth in their way and to pretty much clear them of wrongdoing, they would plant these fake guns on the people so they could have a reason to arrest that person and throw charges on them and pat, you know, most likely put them in jail and give them jail time and then get off scot free. I don't even know why they had to do all of that because they don't even have to do that much. And all they have to say is I fear for my life and they can walk away from, from the crime. I mean, the last time I did a video about the Baltimore PD, I think it was when they found out they were planting drugs in these places and to try to get people locked up and hemmed up on that. So they went from planting guns, I'm sorry, planting drugs to planting fake guns. And I don't know how anybody would think that those guns were real because it, because, uh, some of them left the orange tip on said gun. And you should be able to tell the difference between a real gun and a fake one. But it's funny. They can know a real gun if a, if a fake gun, if a white person has a fake gun, but if it's a fake gun, it's a black person happy, they don't know. I.E. Tamir Rice and John Crawford. Now, I know that they're not doing this crap in the suburban neighborhoods in Baltimore. This is, this has, we going straight to the hood. We going straight to the ghetto for, you know, for the black folks. And a little sidebar, the show The Wire has been off the air for 10 years, shot since 2002 to 2008 in Baltimore. For those of you who are not from Baltimore and saw how it looked when they were filming in all those boarded up houses, that was not designed just for the show. That is how the real Baltimore looks. Like if you drive through there, those houses are still boarded up there. The streets look exactly the same. They didn't add or take away anything when they filmed that show. That stuff looked like that when they got there. Just thought I should throw that in there. But, and of course, the corruption was there as well. But, yeah, it, it, the Baltimore Police Department or the BCPD is showing each and every time they end up in the news for some messed up stuff that they are well deserving of that bad rating they received when they had that investigation done on them about two years ago. They are on a roll right now. They are literally, I don't know where they were placed in most corrupt departments, but they are definitely in my personal top five list. So it doesn't surprise me when stories like this will uh will come up. They said, and I quote in the beginning, it says, One officer involved in the city's massive corruption scandal said officers kept the replicas in case we accidentally hit somebody or got into a shootout so we could plant them. So even if it was an accident, they were still planted on them because their guilty conscience, which leads me to believe it was never an accident to begin with. It was stri it was strictly intentional. Like I said, they never cease to amaze me. By they, I mean pretty much all these damn departments. Every last one of them are crooked to the core. They can't help themselves. They just can't. Y'all let me know what you think down in the comments.